welcome to Storyline. I'm Patricia Trenchak. Graduation looked very different this year. The high school graduation ceremony, a rite of passage students work for their entire lives, was almost not possible. With doors closed for months, schools had to be inventive and many opted for virtual ceremonies. Once restrictions for outside gatherings allowed for larger crowds, some schools opted for in-person graduation ceremonies. South Plainfield High School in South Plainfield, New Jersey recently held their graduation in person. Holding two separate ceremonies to divide the class into 120 students each, the SPHS class of 2020 graduated on their football field. Students and administrators say although the circumstances were not ideal, they were extremely grateful they could finally hold an in-person graduation to honor the class of 2020. Congratulations. We are here in person, face to face, finally seeing each other, not on a Google Meet. And I know everything is still less than ideal. Uh, back in June, I said, I don't want you to be defined by the virus. We are a group of successful, enterprising young men and women. And you will not be defined by this. And to think that you are is an insult to your potential. The kids, the graduates, the parents, they, they look so forward to this uh, that we felt if there was any way we could do it, we would. Uh, it's an un unforgettable experience and uh, you know, there's no words to describe this experience, especially in these circumstances, especially during uh, this pandemic. It's, you know, can't thank everybody for doing this and making this possible. Yeah, it actually feels really nice. I didn't really expect to feel like this overwhelming sense of nostalgia and kind of like gratefulness that we actually are having a physical graduation because this is probably the last time I'm going to be seeing these people, and it's kind of really nice to be able to take in their faces one last time. Good morning to family and friends, faculty, administration, and most importantly, the class of 2020. Thank you all for celebrating this milestone with us tonight. Although in circumstances stranger than any of us can have, the world has transformed, and we will all emerge from this as changed people. But as my mother told me, Change is the only constant in this life. It keeps us from stagnating into indifference, from settling into complacency. We still live in a world lacking justice, a world lacking peace. And sometimes we may wish that world wasn't ours, but we will only keep wishing and wishing the same thing until the dreamers become doers, until we create the world that we see. So never settle for silence, never lose your faith, and always remember that your influence may not always be viral or record-breaking, but it is never, ever zero. Thank you to the class of 2020. Stay safe and blessings to all of you. No one would have forecasted in November that we would have been here today uh, with this virtual distance learning, with, with the way th things still are in the state of New Jersey. Uh, but all in all, credit to everybody involved, stick to uh, adaptability, perseverance, all came together and we're able to celebrate today. I'm just really thankful that we got to have this experience of graduating together in person. Even though it may not have been the way that it originally is, it's very unique to this class and this year. And I'm glad to say that we were the first people to experience it on this town. And finally, to our graduates, I want everyone to take your left hand, grab your tassel, pull it over to the left side. Congratulations, the class of 2020. I feel amazing. I feel like I've been working all this time just to graduate and I'm finally here and we didn't really think that it would happen, but we're here. <laughs> Thank you for watching this segment of Storyline. I'm Patricia Trenchak. Join us again for local stories right from your neighborhood.